We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him to really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. Quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He steps out at the 42. Well, the defensive line has to do a better job there of feeling that screen out. And a lot of times the offensive line will dictate whether or not it's going to be a screen pass or not. And when they feel and sense the offensive lineman releasing out to get out in front of the screen and to be able to try to make a play downfield, again, the defensive line is the key for any defense and being able to slow down a screen pass. it to the back. He fights forward to around midfield. Steps out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. First, first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Quick throw. He's at the 30. And they make the stop at about the 19-yard line. This is a great pitch and catch combination. And they hook up here for a big-time game. Green 9, green 9. Green 8. Go. And he tackles him hard at the 19-yard line. He's under pressure, and he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Mike three. Mike three. Down. Cut. He lets it fly. And the receiver shows us why he's considered one of the fastest on the team. You know, you often hear the term deceptive speed and how certain players have it. But I'll tell you what, there's nothing deceptive about this guy's speed. He can flat out fly. From the 15-yard line, first down. The 10. Tackle made around the three-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. And down he goes around the one-yard line. Gaining three yards. That brings up second and goal. From the one-yard line, second down.
takes the PAT. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys kind of be coming over the sidelines after touchdown after touchdown saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So our score, 7-3. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. down at the 45. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Makes it to the 44. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. Here we go. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Ray, two. Rose falling back and got his man. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. Number 28 with the tackle at the 33-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Pick it up, pick it up. Go, four. Pick it up. Fires complete over the middle. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Three down, three down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. This is the eighth play of this drive. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a game. And he just gets rid of it. This should be an easy field goal. It's up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. I'm sure that touchdown of their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. Vanderbilt up a point. He's tackled at the 43. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Mike three. Mike three. Let's go. Run, 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 run. run right hit in the backfield. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. It doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. It's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. There are three quarters remaining. Vanderbilt's up by one. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. It's away, and it's a booming punt. 
Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taking off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. That's good. That makes it second and eight. at the 32-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Here they come. That's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. He scrambled. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. First down. Some open field. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That makes it second and two. Throws complete. He's got space to work. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. Number 36 on the tackle at the 30-yard line. Mike, 36. First down. it out to maybe the 29-yard line. A gain of a yard of the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and 10. He's at the 20. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. The sub package in there defensively this five wide receiver set and he's hit immediately good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession that's the right way to catch a pass they spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers the cavalry's coming and he is drilled at the 16 yard line man it's an offensive lineman this is the worst thing that you want to see is your quarterback not only getting sacked but getting hit like that those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Roger, Roger. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. I hope you brought your rush because I'm about to take that. They'll knock him down for a loss. Big third and goal. Can the defense stop him? Here we go, here we go. go. Stepping up. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. 
Quick throw to the tight end. And they make the stop right around the 30. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 30. That brings him second and five. He tackles him for a loss. Third down. Come on, dude. Yeah, side left, side left. Go down, go down. Mike three. Mike three. Ready to Fumble. The offense scoops it out. And they hit him in the backfield. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Two minutes left in the half. The Longhorns taking their first time out of the half. Texas with a six-point lead. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Big kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! Just throws this one away. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect, three and out. Good series for these guys. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle made at the 44. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Around the 46-yard line. They pick up two on the pass play. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here. And he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. And he's level at the 35-yard line. Ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Get on the throw. He caught it. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. He's taken down the 17 yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw and the result is a new set of downs. There he goes. And he hits him hard at the two. Quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. They'll 
They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. And he converts the extra point. Vanderbilt is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Brought down at the 40-yard line. The Longhorns use their second timeout. First and 10. Ball on their own 40. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Check, check. Dance, dance. That makes it first and ten. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. Go. Now he's scrambling. Kill, kill. Dance two. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Gets it out quickly. And he tackles him hard at the 26. Kill, kill. Number 36 with the tackle at the 26 yard line. Red, two, green, 15. They go, they go. He heaves it to the end zone. It's caught, touchdown, Longhorn. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. A great first half comes to a close. 2014, Texas. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it at harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. The 
from their own 41 yard line. First down. Tackle and producing pickup. it out to about the 43. From the 43 yard line, it's first down. He's scrambling. Slides down. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. his way to about the 28. From the 28-yard line, first down. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. Number eight on the drive. He's tackled at the eight yard line. Three yard gain by the running back. That's a gain of three on the play. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the eight. The gun. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it third and three. Here's play number ten on the drive. Mike three. Mike three. Fires over the middle. Touchdown. the extra point that can give them the lead. He makes the PAT. Vanderbilt to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets to around the 42. out of bounds at the 45. That's a three-yard pickup. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. He makes his way to about the 45. That's a game of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Red kill, kill, kill. kill. Blue, Yellow, 20. 20. He steps out at the 42-yard line. That makes it seven and eight. Brought down in the open field. Tackle. 
Michael at the 34. That's good for a gain of five yards. First and 10. Ball on the 34 yard line. 36 to Mike. Red, go! Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's taken down around the 22 yard line. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. Kill, kill, kill! Green. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Game of 16 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Throws it to cover, it just picked off. That's a great tackle at the seven. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the seventh. Vanderbilt is up one. They bring him down at the 29-yard line. Got a first and ten. Ball on their own 29. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. He's lucky just to get back to the line of scrimmage on that option. Ten yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here we go. Has some daylight. Gets out to around the 38. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He makes it to the 38-yard line. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 21-20. Commodore. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. Empty Watch backfield, you. quarterback the in the gun, five oh, wide boy. receivers. And they make the stop at the 45 yard line, and a pickup of about seven. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. They come out on an watch, empty watch backfield. Watch the tackle made at the 47. Number 31 with the tackle at the 47 yard line. First down. Red kill, kill, kill. Green nine. They go back to him on a quick throw. And down he goes at the 35. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Five wide. Red, two. He's on the run, and they got it. 
The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So the sack makes this a second and long. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The kick is up. And he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive. So let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Slings it. He's taken down at about the 35. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35. And he throws it away. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. First and ten. Ball on the 49. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Quick pass. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 40. Just under three to go in regulation. the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line, first down. Quick throw, and he's tackled the 20-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. Lateral's back and he's got space. And the option to the halfback gets six yards. It's the ninth play of the drive. And they hit him in the backfield. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. That makes it third and seven. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 12. 
And a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Under a minute left. It's up, and it's puts the uprights. Vanderbilt is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Longhorns have sort of set up the defense with this wide receiver doing most of the damage. Do they go away from him, or do they do something different? Well, I think one of two things here for this offense. You either find a way to get your star receiver the football, or in some cases, you want to use him as a decoy, maybe take two or three defenders with him, and then open it up for somebody else to be able to make a play. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Just throws this one away. tackle there because this kid had some space in the shotgun and five wideouts quick throw and he's got his receiver again you got to think the way that offense dug deep to get the lead here this late in the fourth quarter, that might translate over and give enough emotion to their defense to win the football game. So the offense is going to go for two. We have less than a minute to go. Head two. Blue. And they won't get the two. So the two-point conversion is no good. Here they try to put the ball in the air. Unfortunately, they were unable to convert. Texas is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this sets up the drama here in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. Mike three, Mike three, set. Oklahoma! Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 31. The Vanderbilt's going to take their first time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. Wants to throw outside, and he pulls it down. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Vanderbilt's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He's up to 300 yards passing. He's been able to get up and down the field all day today, moving consistently and effectively. Nice play to set up first and goal. fourth quarter one possession game and this is where poise really takes over whoever shows it will win the football game the kicker will stay on the sidelines for this extra point as the offense is going to stay on the field and try to make this a three-point game Vanderbilt up a point they go on the ground and fail on the two-point conversion
if they feel the kick here at touchdown return is their only chance at victory. He really got a hold of that kick. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Oh, he's obviously come in here with a plan. He knows what he wants to do, and he's just getting the job done. You go back and you look at some of these plays, and my gosh, this guy's doing it all. He's avoiding the pressure, number one. He's making great decisions. He sees the whole field, and he's just making it look effortless overall. Well, it's time to show how mentally tough he is now. Can he lead them to a winning drive here? Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Easy, 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 easy. Now he's scrambling. That tackle just sealed the deal. And so that's going to do it. Final score in this one, Vanderbilt 30, Texas 29. So that wraps things up for us, 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.